All right, team, it's here. The bag that started our YouTube channel, the Air Travel Pack 3. This video is gonna be our hands-on first impressions of the Air Travel Pack 3. We already did two videos where we took a deep dive into Air's website and compared the features of the Air Travel Pack 2 and Travel Pack 3. So be sure to check those out. Links in the description down below. Without further ado, let's dive in. All right, folks, here we go. So, opening up the bag, you see the bags with a nice little air sticker. And we're seeing the bags wrapped in a full plastic sleeve. Overall, we do feel that these plastics can help prevent, uh, protect from dust, but we would prefer if actually there was no plastic at all. Very similar to how packed travel bags send out their goods, where it's pretty much just the box and maybe like a piece of paperwork for shipping returns. We feel that that way it's a little bit more sustainable long term. So first we're going to go ahead and start with the travel pack 3. Opening up the classic bed. Ooh, it comes with so nice. Cool. Alright, so immediately having it in hand, I gotta say that Blessed Mammon feels super good. Uh, it's very nice and smooth. Oh, there are like little clips on here. But that's fine. Looking at the bag, we see that for the most part, very minimal additional tag work on the bag. We just have a couple of things on the front zipper and one on the side zipper with the air logo. Looking at it, um, it just it just looks so good and just feels so good, like a fresh bag. There's nothing there's nothing better. I think. First test, I actually want to see because our original travel pack two is I think version one, so it had the sort of like longer white K zippers. But I do know that they updated them since then, and it looks like they kept those updates for the travel pack three. So first and foremost, I want to test the jingle. Overall, not much jingle. I am very pleased by this. Uh, I actually have the Travel Pack 2 right here in version 1, and already you can just, you can just hear it. It's like a ghoul in the night, you can just hear it miles away. Uh, overall, I'm seeing just those big beefy YKK zippers which I love so much. Um, AquaGuard zips just on this front pocket and in the laptop compartment it looks like. Seeing the grab handles. Okay so when we took one of our earlier deep dive videos uh, we mentioned that the, the grab handles did look different and they are. They, they're sort of, uh, sort of like a dense foam, but wrapped in that like sort of seatbelt webbing compared to that Travel Pack 2. Uh, the Travel Pack 2, on the other hand, the main grab handle was just wrapped in that ballistic nylon, but just like a foam or maybe like a piece of cardboard or maybe both. Especially this main grab handle, it feels a lot better. Very nice to the touch, very smooth as well. But the side grab handles, they're a little bit smaller than your top grab handle, but they still feel pretty good in hand. Taking a look at some of these new features that we saw, uh, this sort of like secret pocket as Air described it, although it doesn't seem too much like a secret when it's on the outside like this. But I do think that this would be a great pocket for things like Maybe passport or just like small things you want to throw in during transit. Moving on to the new compression straps, they are using magnetic buckles now. Uh, it's a little bit hard to get into, uh, but maybe that's good. Uh, we can see here it's below the main compartment zipper, so it'll compress very easily and it's not going to get in the way of you trying to get in and out of the main compartment. Going into the laptop compartment, we have this nice padded material and a false bottom about maybe like an inch, inch and a half or so off the bottom of the bag. 
that new additional compartments in the back here where you can store like your charging brick or the cable perhaps. Uh, looks like it has a good amount of space. Going back to the front of the bag, we have that tech compartment, which I was curious about, just because the images on their website looked like the stitching might have been a little bit different for the material here, so that then it gets a little bit flop or less floppy. Which, as I'm looking at this right now, I think I can confirm that this is more of a tighter stitch. So, whenever you throw things in here, it should keep all of your tech items pretty secure. Over here, we have this updated mesh that's this nice soft and stretchy material so this is a good way to kind of keep something in here if it's a little bit larger it'll stretch out if needed but still keep things very secure very top we have zippered pocket which goes about maybe to about right here no additional padding or special material just the, the same material that's in the rest of the compartments and in the back we have the magazine pocket it goes almost to the bottom of the bag itself right about here or so moving on to the main compartment it, um, all of this internal fabric uh, has been updated from the air travel pack 2 as well the same fabric that was used in the tech uh, organization pocket you see there is this side panel that goes the pretty much the full length of the main compartments on a door flap goes the full length of the main compartment's flap. Uh, this seems like it could be a good place to store, maybe like, uh, just like a, any flat items, paperwork, um, like a simple t-shirt or so. Do you have that mesh compartment or uh, mesh fabric once again for this pocket over here? The same mesh that we saw in the tech compartment. And we have this secret pocket here, really secret pocket. Uh, we missed this in our initial review of the Air website, which I think this is actually really cool to have. This is really going to be the pocket that you want to keep all your special goods and like cash, or maybe this is where your password's going to be when you don't need it on a regular basis. Uh, back here we have that little set for your air tag or tile looking at the rest of the main compartment i it does look like this main body is somewhat raised i've noticed um but it does feel like it's just due to a lot of the padding this could be from laptop compartment and also from the straps and padding in the back. As I'm pressing down on it, it, it does give and, and push back down, but in sort of its natural state, it kind of just rises it up. Overall, my initial impressions of this bag, I do really like it. Um, it's interesting to see all these different updates. Uh, I will like to see them, how they handle on an actual live trip. So we'll be taking this for a test run somewhere in the near future. Of course, what I am most excited about, and I mentioned this in some of our previous videos, are of course... And there you have it, my thoughts on the Air Travel Pack 3. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. If you haven't done so already, please like and subscribe. 